Do I need a service plan or a care plan? My name's Adam at Blackpool Boiler Installations. This is a quick video uh, just to give you our advice on service plans. So all the big national companies do them and a lot of the small local companies are also doing them now. So do you need a service plan? I would say if you answer yes to any of these questions, then you probably should be considering a service plan. Have you ever been left without heating or hot water due to a broken boiler? Do you normally get your boiler serviced? Have you had a newish boiler recently in the last few years? Is your boiler an older boiler? Is your system old? So your radiators and pipe work, are they more than eight years old? Uh, and do you want to keep your new boiler warranty valid? I would say if you answer yes to any of those questions, you should be on some kind of service plan. Okay, so what are service plans? Most businesses offer two or three at least levels of cover. So you'll start from the basic cover, which just covers a basic service every year, and you'll go up to their premium cover, which will cover service repairs to their boiler and central heating system. Okay, so service plans have obviously come uh, in a monthly payment okay so they normally start around six or seven pounds a month and they could go up to 30 pounds a month depending on the level of cover so you've just got to weigh up that you will be paying a monthly cost so what really would you get for that monthly cost so if you normally have your boiler serviced you'll probably pay 70 or 80 pounds for that service every year in a service plan it's already included in the bundle so it's really good if you do normally get your boiler serviced, you'll probably end up being cheaper just by going to a service plan and it's less hassle. Okay, why else might you want to go to a service plan? Peace of mind and safety. You don't know what's happening in your boiler. Um, you could not check it for three or four years and then find that there's something catastrophically wrong inside. So you need that peace of mind. But I've had a new boiler, Adam, in the last couple of years. So I've had one a couple of weeks ago. Surely I don't need a service plan. Well, actually, this is the most important time to have a service plan. Your new boiler is coming with a warranty. It could be five years, it could be 12 years. If you've got a warranty, the manufacturers want to see it's been serviced. Otherwise, that warranty is invalid. So it's counterproductive to spend two, three, four thousand pounds on a new boiler and then let the guarantee get flushed down the toilet because you didn't get it serviced. So definitely you need a service plan uh, if you've got a newish boiler that's probably the most priority okay they're also really really convenient uh, because it's a low monthly fee coming out of your bank uh, and you've got that heating business on tap so if you've not got service plan and you ring a business in winter because you've got a problem you might not be able to get that company out because they're too busy and you might find yourself racing about for a, a heating engineer if you're a service plan customer, you're going to be more priority, so you're going to have that level of care uh, and priority. So I would just weigh up um, if you think it's a good thing or a bad thing. But from my point of view, for a low monthly fee to cover your boiler and your radiators and pipe work and all your central heating, then a service plan is an absolute no-brainer. Um, much better to be in the club than out of the club. So that's our take on service plans. I would say certainly research them and they're a great idea. Your boiler needs checking, your system needs looking after. For more videos like this, check out our website and socials and I'll see you soon.